My previous Iggy video has hit over a million views, and I wanted to make a follow-up video pertaining to that video because a lot of my opinions have changed. And I do disagree with the treatment of Iggy and how she was practically bullied out of the industry. I'm not an Iggy fan, but I do think Iggy deserved better. Now, as many of you know, Iggy really took over the charts during 2014 to 2015. With her smash hits such as Work, Fancy featuring Charlie XCX, Problem featuring Ariana Grande, and Black Widow featuring Rita Ora. Iggy's career started off solid, and it seemed as if the hip-hop community was actually fine with her. Around the time that she became a breakout star, she began receiving a lot of flack from a lyric from her previous years, which comes from a Kendrick Lamar remix. Which reads, when the relay starts, I'm a runaway slave master. She did, however, apologize profusely in countless times, stating it was a tacky and careless thing to do, which I do understand the backlash and I'm not excusing it. However, she did apologize many times. This was one of her first mishaps. Furthermore, later that year, arguably her biggest feud to date emerged with rapper Azalea Banks, with seemingly jealousy stemming from Azalea Banks' side of the fence that Iggy's career had blown up and Azalea still hasn't. Which Azalea seems to have a problem with everyone's career blowing up besides hers, like her attacking Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and even mega stars such as Beyonce. So it should be seen as no surprise coming from her. However, Azalea did make a fair point throughout this argument, stating the struggles of a black woman and the differences between black people who predominantly rule the hip-hop community and a white rapper such as Iggy. Another major turning point in Iggy's career was when Nicki Minaj shaded her during the 2014 BET Awards, which all of you guys know of, which led to a swarm of fans to send attacks towards Iggy, which I would like to comment many rappers don't write their lyrics, and it's been like that since the beginning of hip-hop. Post Malone for his mega-hit rock star with 21 Savage, Drake for a lot of his hits, and Nicki Minaj herself has even been suspected of having a ghostwriter. Sadly, not everyone has an amazing skill to push their pin, but they do have great deliverance and flow. Amid Iggy's media frenzy in 2015 after her collaboration with Britney Spears tanked, she took to Twitter to discuss it, which it backfired and had a horrible effect. Not only did Iggy have the hip-hop community against her, she had a major figure in pop against her. And the stones kept being thrown. And late 2015 came arguably the biggest direct diss at Iggy, when R&B and Neo Soul icon Erica Baidu dissed Iggy at the Soul Train Awards, and said, what you're doing is definitely not rap in a staged or fictional call with Iggy Azalea, which is ironic because barely anything anyone does in the hip hop community today can be considered rap. This is the age of mumble rap and trap. As if Iggy hadn't gotten beaded down enough, Chainsmokers and congested singer Halsey bashed Iggy out of nowhere to deflect from her mistakes, saying, She had a complete disregard for black culture. Fucking moron. I watched her career dissolved and it fascinated me. Which is ironic since she now dates famed white rapper g Easy. Now, what I find hypocritical about all of this, every single little thing, is there's white male rappers that are thriving and actually taking over hip-hop as of now. g Easy, Post Malone, Machine Gun Kelly, Malcolm Moore, whom's more on the pop side but still didn't face severe backlash, as Iggy. You also have non-black rappers, let me make that clear, they are not black, they are Latino, Lil Pump and Takashi 6 9 consistently saying the N-word in their music, but if it were anyone else, they wouldn't even have a career. Black people will go batshit crazy, and that's coming from a black person. And I don't understand why people are just letting them get a free pass. Then you also have an Asian rapper that previously went by the name of Rich Chica, who's now known as Rich Brian, who has freely used the N-word in his music but hasn't received any backlash, or at least to the extent of Iggy, who hasn't used that word in her music. Another ironic thing is that Azalea Banks and Iggy Azalea are planning to collaborate and have made amends, and Nicki Minaj wants to sign a white rapper. Still don't really see why Iggy received gigantic amounts of hate that she did. People like to say, well, she's not what she talks about. She doesn't have a struggle. She's a white girl from Australia. Yes, that's true. But who's to say she didn't have a struggle? She left her home country as a teen to pursue her career. I'm pretty sure it didn't come immediately. She had to work, and with work comes struggle. And a lot of rappers aren't what they talk about nowadays. A lot of them, especially in the age of mumble rap, grew up in the suburbs with a perfect family. Even Future admitted he wasn't a drug addict, and it's just an image. The rapper said, I'm not like super drugged out or a drug addict. My music may portray a certain kind of image, and I know it's some people that might be super drugged out, and they listen to my music, and they're like, hey, thank you. You're speaking for me. 
And then some people that's not, that feel like, man, I don't have to do drugs. I can listen to Future and feel like I'm on something and don't have to try. I don't do it for you to really have to live that type of life. Which what he said is understandable. At the end of the day, it's all marketing and entertainment. And then you also have Drake, a star who's on a TV show before he became the powerhouse star that he is, that claims he started from the bottom. It's a facade. Most of these rappers aren't who they say they are. I do think the hip-hop community wasn't ready for a white female rapper to dominate, but they sure as hell are ready for white and non-black males to dominate, as they are doing right now. We now have Bad Baby on the rise, which I'm really interested on how the hip-hop community will treat her. Will she get the same ridicule as Iggy? She's even made history. She signed a multi-million dollar record deal with Atlantic with artists such as Cardi B, Bruno Mars, and Kalani, just to name a few big names and became the youngest female rapper to debut on the Billboard Hot 100 with her single, These Hoes, and dissed Iggy on her recent song, High Bitch, the remix. Bitch, I compare me to Iggy, that I was watching, I'm lit when pay to wash up my will. Bye, bro, bitch. Bye, ho. Why, Jays? Poor Iggy just can't catch a break, and I don't think Iggy is as bad as people made her seem. Everyone was just singing along and rapping Iggy's songs. It's amazing what a hate bandwagon can do to someone. All of this hate really took a toll on her, with her formally announcing she had suicidal thoughts, and all of the jabs about her and her career made her contemplate jumping off of a cliff, which is absolutely horrible. No one should feel that way. She was and is simply doing something that she loves. She might not be educated in certain areas or be the best rapper, but there are a lot of pop rappers alongside hip-hop rappers. I feel like she leaned more towards the pop category, she makes catchy tunes and more like feel good dance music, which I think is fine, I really don't think Iggy deserved the harshness of it all. She has made a prominent comeback on the charts with her new song Savior featuring Quavo and has been faring well on the charts. And it is about her hardships that she has went through these past years. She also appeared in a Super Bowl commercial and is planning to make her comeback after cancel and delays after cancel and delays. She's finally doing something to help her prevent from falling completely off. She's had some tough times with her music consistently getting leaked and album cancellations, which I think it's great that she is attempting a comeback because she did have some potential pop hits. In recent news, she has departed ways with her old label Def Jam and looks to be starting fresh. I do want to know what you think, so definitely tell me down below how you feel, and do you agree or disagree, or are you in the middle? Do you see both sides, but do you also think that Iggy didn't deserve the immense hate that she received? I definitely think there was something happening behind the scenes to get rid of Iggy, and it's just so hypocritical seeing that all these other white male rappers are flourishing. Don't forget to follow my only social media down below and subscribe.